uh, uh, Glass House. So I call the member for Whit Sunday. Thanks very much, Madam Deputy Speaker. Madam Deputy Speaker, I rise to make a contribution to this cognate debate and would like from the outset to uh, place on record and foreshadow that I will be supporting the private members' bill uh, introduced by the member for Toowoomba South because it is my view, uh, Acting Speaker, uh, that the bill is far superior to the government version. Fifteen years for the manslaughter of a child, 25 years for the murder of a child, despicable crimes and they should be punished accordingly. This mandatory sentencing is long overdue. And today has been a long time coming, Acting Speaker, as have a number of speakers alluded to. We have families of victims in the gallery and watching this live broadcast around Queensland, even further afield, waiting for this to reach its climax. Young Hemi Goodwin Burke was born in my electorate, and young Hemi would be at school today if things had turned out very differently a few years ago. And whatever we do as legislators in this House, and no matter where we vote on this, Acting Speaker, to state the bleeding obvious, nothing we do will bring little Hemi back. Mason Jet Lee or any of those other victims. Little kids taken away. In relation to little Hemi, can I acknowledge his family in the gallery here today? His mum and dad, Kerry Ann Goodwin and Shane Burke, and their little girl, Tawira. As the member from Wajarabar said in her contribution, and as I said quietly to the member for Caloundra yesterday, the family drove all the way from Mackay, sleeping in the car overnight to get here on that journey in seeking justice. Kerry Ann and Shane are in the gallery alongside Kerry Ann's mum and dad and Richard and Chris Goodwin. And I'd like to make mention of Hemi's name. In English, it means James. And Hemi's great, great, great grandfather was indeed James, as I understand. And the name pays homage to both sides of the family, both Māori and Pakia. I also want to acknowledge a lady who I fondly remember when I came back to North Queensland some years ago. She used to greet me in the paper shop in the main street of Proserpine. As we now know, that lady became Nana to little Hemi, and her name's Lynn Burke. Lynn's not here today, but she is watching the broadcast. and what a journey it's been for her and the family and all the families of the victims. I remember nearly two years ago, in fact, Acting Speaker, I think it might have been in June of 2017, after the court proceedings in Mackay, seeing Lynn like never before, so distraught she was. And wondering why the system has failed her and her family and many other families. Because as I've said before and others have said before me, and those will come after, we come into this place to make the system better. I'm no Bush lawyer. I may have worked for the former Federal Attorney General, but I am no expert in legal proceedings. And with the greatest respect to the profession and their input, the Bar Association, 
and the Law Society, surely we should be listening to the families of these kids and the police officers that go about their duties. Imagine a copper having to go and deliver the message. We've heard that in this debate already. Remember, for Nicklin gave an excellent speech yesterday. It wasn't lost on the people in the gallery, your former colleagues in blue, and others. But I remember that day in June of 2017, and, and as I say, Lynn, like never before have I seen her that way. And I grabbed her and we went and had a cup of tea and some cake at a cafe. What could you say, Mr Acting Speaker? What could you say? This will reach a conclusion here today. And as one person in this debate said, we need to park the egos up on this. Park them up. Two bills before the House, and as I said, Mr Acting Speaker, I am supportive of mandatory sentencing. We need to listen to what the community is saying. And I just want to go back to what the member for Toowoomba South said when he introduced the bill on 13 February this year. And he said, quote, according to the Queensland Sentencing Advisory Council's report into child homicide, offenders sentenced for adult manslaughter receive significantly longer sentences at 8.5 years than offenders sentenced for child manslaughter at 6.8 years. End of quote. Am I the only one that can't work that out? I support the LNP opposition's bill, the private member's bill being put forward by the member for Toowoomba South, who's done an excellent job here. It needs to be said. And hope that today, Hemi's family and others can take something out of this, no matter how small, because it's been a long time coming. Thank you, Member for Sunday.